What's up everyone? Welcome to another video. First of all, I would like to thank you guys for the 1000 subscribers. This means a lot as I only had 200 subscribers in my first two years. But surprisingly this year, I gained over 800 subscribers. And the credit goes to you guys. There's a 1k special video coming soon where I will involve all my 1000 subscribers in that video. To watch the video, hit that subscribe button or else you're going to regret. Today, I will talk about my experience as an engineering student living in Australia. So I've completed my O levels in 2014 and A levels in 2016 from Presidency International School. To be honest, after completing my A levels, I had no idea what I was going to do in life. I was completely lost and nervous as most of my friends had already chosen their career and started uni life. I became so desperate, I used to search on YouTube, best profession for aimless students. However, after many months of research and counseling, I decided to pursue civil engineering as my profession because of my fascination towards skyscrapers. I thought civil engineering would be challenging as well as fun, but I was wrong. After choosing my career, I decided to study engineering in Australia, not because of its high standard of education. I preferred Australia because it was the only country that has kangaroos. I got the opportunity to study in the UTS, also known as the University of Technology Sydney, which is ranked first in Australia in the QS top 50 under 50 universities. Five years down the lane, it is still ranked first in the QS top 50 under 50. In 2017, I settled in Australia to start my engineering degree in the UTS. My journey in UTS have been a roller coaster ride so far with a lot of ups and downs. In UTS, I've learned how creativity and innovation can change our world for good. Maybe this creativity inspired me to start a career in UTS. In UTS, I have met with people from various cultural backgrounds, made new friends, and most importantly, I acquired the skill of watching things from a different perspective. Team sports like basketball and volleyball taught me leadership skills and how to work efficiently as a team. To survive, we might need to work with different people or as a group. For that, having a good communication skill is vital. In UTS, we were provided with world-class educational facilities and guided by some of the best professionals. I have been very fortunate to study in UTS which is ranked among the top 150 universities of the world by the QS ranking. UTS have a reputation for producing quality athletes for Australia. Pat Cummins, one of the best bowlers for Australia in cricket, is a proud alumni of UTS. Fun fact, Hugh Jackman, the Wolverine actor, also graduated from the UTS. I will come back to UTS later. Now let's talk about my job experience in Australia. In my first semester, I did not look for any job as I wanted to take some time to settle in. I spent my days exploring the beautiful places in Sydney and making new friends in the university. After completing the first semester, I thought it was time to look for a job. Although I was backed financially pretty well by my parents. So I started applying for jobs online, handed over my CV to fast food chains, retailers, libraries and where not. But unfortunately, none of them called me back. This is when I realized the importance of staying calm and patient. I guess after 100 rejections, I finally got a group invitation for an interview in Macca's. By the way, Macca's is Australian way of saying McDonald's. So it was a group interview with 20 participants and they basically judged our communication skills, leadership qualities and how we contribute as a team. Out of 20 participants, they hired only 5 and luckily I, along with one of my friends, got selected. This is how my part-time journey commenced. I was paid 26 Australian dollars per hour which was pretty decent to start off. In the beginning, I made a lot of blunders. I once served a quarter pounder without the burger patty and I even did this, but not intentionally. My buns fell off the floor and as it was rush hour, I was almost serving it to a customer, but my guilty conscience held me back. Even worse, on one occasion, I was about to serve uncooked french fries to my customer and my manager caught me red-handed. Just watch what happened. 
Do you realize what you're serving? Of course, one of the best french fries in the town. Can you please try how it tastes? Why not? <coughs> I can speak hours about my experiences in McDonald's and still won't get tired. If you want to hear more about my blunders, let me know in the comments. I might make a whole video about it. On a serious note, I made mistakes, but I was quick enough to adapt and improve myself over the time. Working in McDonald's, I learned how to absorb pressure and work efficiently in tough situations. Those 8 months in McDonald's taught me lessons which I will be using as guidance for the rest of my life. So coming back to UTS, I have had some of the best experiences here. In 2019, I was granted $2,000 scholarship by UTS for a two-week robotics course in Spain. So I went off to Spain, learned robotics, tried surfing, enjoyed Spanish cuisine and visited France for a day. Also did not miss out the chance to visit Camp Nou, the home stadium of FC Barcelona. All the credit goes to UTS for sponsoring this amazing trip. It's really unfortunate that a lot of students does not know that the universities do sponsor students who are interested to take part in student exchange programs. If you are studying abroad, you can have a look at your university's website. I'm sure there will be opportunities for you as well. And if you're from UTS, just check UTS Build website, of which I've provided the link in the description. They have a lot of student exchange programs with scholarships. Apart from $2,000 scholarship, I worked regularly with UTS in many projects. Once, I, along with few other students, were selected to improve the structure of a specific course, and we were paid very, very high wage per hour. That's one of the perks of working with the university. I've also participated in many research-based experiments for UTS as the pay was really good. Through LinkedIn, I've done many paid projects for clients which relates to my engineering degree. For example, I used to create AutoCAD designs for buildings. This helped develop my technical skills and I also earned good money at the same time. So I tried sharing my job and university experiences as detailed I could. I hope this video will be helpful for some of you and if you have questions regarding universities, let me know in the comments. Also smash that like button and hit the subscribe button hard because exciting stuffs are coming for my subscribers and I'm sure you're one of those persons who does not miss out on good opportunities. See you until next time.